Tinker Tailor IMSI Catcher. Homeland has found spies in the capital, phone spies, that is. According to the Associated Press, the Department of Homeland Security detected abnormal activity from phone hacking technology in Washington, D.C. The department did not identify the source or number of devices. Known as International Mobile Subscriber Identity Catchers, or IMSI Catcher, the equipment acts as a fake cellular tower. It attracts signals from the target's phone away from the real network. The technology is reportedly used by U.S. intelligence and law enforcement. IMSI catchers can be used to listen in on phone calls, track user location data, and read messages. Reportedly, they can all be used to infect devices with malware. The devices vary in size from a cell phone to a suitcase. Costs of the equipment reportedly run from 1,000 U.S. dollars to several hundred thousand. Here's more technology news. China is developing a mosquito radar. Chinese scientists are working on new radar technology to track mosquitoes. According to the South China Morning Post, the radar emits electromagnetic waves on many frequencies. The device reportedly uses technology from China's missile defense system. When these electromagnetic waves come in contact with the insect, they are bounced back toward the radar with data on the mosquito. This information reportedly includes what species a mosquito belongs to, as well as its gender, flight speed, and direction. Another researcher unassociated with the project explained it may be more difficult to detect a mosquito than an F-22. This is because the differences in structure and movements. Background noise may also make it difficult to track mosquitoes via radar. MIT says nuclear fusion is only 15 years away. Nuclear fusion could just be around the corner. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology working with a newly formed private company say they will build a working fusion power plant in 15 years thanks to a new superconducting material that recently became commercially available. The material is a new superconducting steel tape coated with a yttrium barium copper oxide. The team working with MIT spin-off Commonwealth Fusion Systems plans to use the tape to make smaller, more powerful magnets that can be used in fusion reactors. The new magnets will double the magnetic field of a fusion reactor, which means more power can be produced with a smaller device. The smaller size will reduce costs and complexity, making future fusion power plants easier to construct. Limitless clean energy? But what about beautiful clean coal? Japan turns to Ripple Japan's financial industry is embracing innovation by looking to blockchain technology to facilitate its payments platform. The Japan Bank Consortium is set to release MoneyTap, a Ripple-powered smartphone app that will allow customers to settle transactions in real time. The country's current system for cash transfers is limited. Transactions can only be processed on weekdays from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and comes with high fees. With MoneyTap, customers can make payments and transfers using only a bank account, phone number, or QR code. Transactions go through the cloud-based Ripple Connect platform. Processing is instant and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for a fraction of the normal cost. The app will go live in the later half of 2018, starting with three major banks, followed by a staggered rollout of the rest of the consortium. Internet-connected devices at risk for crypto cash hacking. Is your smart fridge running a crypto mining program? Internet-connected devices like smartphones and TVs could be at risk from hijacking by hackers and used to mine cryptocurrencies. According to a vast cybersecurity firm, 15,000 internet-connected devices could be used to mine $1,000 worth of Monero digital cash in four days. A theoretical attack would start with hackers taking over a network of devices and then using that combined computing power to mine digital currency. Unlike Bitcoin, which requires substantial computing power to mine, Monero can be mined using a network of internet-connected devices. Monero has grown in popularity among criminals as it advertises itself as being one of the most anonymous digital coins available.